What's up, everybody? Welcome to part seven of Modeling the Jigga. So the beginning part of this video will be more of a time lapse. I'm just going through and adjusting the crest part of the face here. And towards the end, there will be uh, some time lapse footage, but I include some voiceover. And as always, if you have any questions or anything that needs clarification, just let me know and I'd be more than happy to answer them. I'm not sure why, but I found shaping the face on this dinosaur was a lot trickier than I was expecting. And I'm not sure if it's because I was looking at so many references that I was becoming overwhelmed with how different each one looked. Um, I try to strive for accuracy, um, scientific accuracy, so I hope I accomplish that a little bit. So I'm kind of creating like that teardrop effect with the nose. And any time that I make a major adjustment to the face, I just go ahead and use that power save add-on. That way I still have that other file um, before I changed anything major. So if I don't like the way it looks right now, I can always go back to it. So I'm pulling that top crest down because it's protruding way too high up. So I'm just smoothing it out, rotating and scaling. And then things were getting a little crunched in here, so I go ahead and I adjust the verts. So there was a part that I forgot to record. I apologize. I can't remember exactly what I was doing, but I believe I was working on the um, jaw. And if I was working on the jaw, I was probably just moving the verts around ever so slightly and smoothing them out. So one thing um, that I really like about this matte cap I have um, is it shows any sort of imperfections that I may not be able to see with using the, um, I believe it's like the studio matte cap that I have on right now. So right now I'm doing all of the small tweaking and adjusting of the verts and um, making sure that the lines or the edges are where I want them to be positioned. Uh, 
uh, one thing I remember when I was looking at the reference image is that the nails appeared to be a lot um, sharper than how I have them on my model. So I wanted to kind of exaggerate how sharp they looked. And all I'm doing here is just spacing out the verts. I'm also trying to keep in mind when I UV unwrap how I'm going to do that and how it might look um, with the spacing and the edges that I have going right now. So I know in the past I've had uh, some UV unwraps that weren't the cleanest, so I wanted to make sure, especially under the belly, I seem to forget about it a lot. So I wanted to clean that up. And then what I'll do here is, because I haven't finished that tail, what I'll do is I'll apply the mirror modifier and then do a grid fill. So like I did with the toenails is the same thing that I'm going to do with the fingernails, just making them sharper and curving them inward.
I'm thinking that one of the things uh, when I was saying earlier that I forgot to record, um, I ended up making the hands and feet slightly larger just by using Alt S. Um, so I believe that didn't record. Um, so you might notice in this video that the hands are a little bit thicker than they were in the previous videos. So what I would like to do here is this edge is really bothering me, so I want to set up a better connection point. So what I do is I'm going to dissolve that edge. And go ahead and knife from here to there. And then from here to there and then we'll do a knife cut right here see if that gives us any artifacting Now the next thing I want to start working on are the teeth. And another thing I'd like to accomplish is maybe insetting some, um, like, I don't even know what you would call them, but like little pads, I guess. Kind of be where they would indent inward because of the finger digits. Okay, so I would like to do maybe the same thing with the top of the fingers here. And I'm going to go ahead and open up that original skeletal image just to see where the joints and whatnot are.
I'm thinking that the cause of all this intersection and whatnot is from um, when I had scaled the hands and feet. And I don't believe that was caught on camera last time. I'm just adding in those final touches to the feet here, but this will wrap it up for this part. And we are getting really close to finalizing the modeling for the Jigga. So we'll see you in the next part and um, take care.